during an emergency, firefighters, police and paramedics are usually the first to the scene. But today, elementary students were on the front lines. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is in Martinsville tonight with more on how emergency service departments in Southside are trying to recruit the next generation. Churcher Fire, 875 DuPont Road. From the first 911 call. Flames coming from the structure. To the moment firefighters rush to the scene and put out the flames. Police chase down an arsonist and paramedics rescue victims and rush them to the hospital. I thought it was pretty cool. Desera Liverpool and nearly 40 other middle schoolers saw exactly what first responders and public safety workers do every day. I really didn't think about how many people are involved in a fire or an emergency like that. No one was in any real danger here today. It was all a mock emergency just to show these kids what it would be like to work in public safety. It's all part of the Patrick Henry Community College's educational talent search program, which gives kids the chance to explore different career options. This is really important for them to understand the different pathways that there are to reach those career goals um, and then to connect with people in their community who are already doing that dream job. Henry County Public Safety Director Matt Tatum hopes this inspires young people to work or volunteer in emergency services. And we're going to try to expose them to uh, just a little taste of each one of them, uh, again, hoping to spark their interest. Desera wants to be a pilot, but her mom is a 911 dispatcher. And after seeing what these first responders do, it's cool seeing other people do things that you didn't think you didn't think about what you could do like as a job and it would be fun. It's a fun first hand look at what she could do in the future in Martinsville. Lindsay Kennett 10 news working for you.